A betrayal of trust. That's the feeling of many parents of children at two metro schools where teachers accused of recording children undressing. Tonight, parents were given the chance to ask questions about the crime. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson is live at Antioch High School, where tonight's meeting took place. Well, Rory, this is where Jones was or worked prior to being arrested earlier this week. And while there's no evidence that any of the students here were videotaped by Jones, parents still had plenty of questions. Inside Antioch High School tonight, there was no shortage of resources, flyers, school officials, and counselors to help parents recover from a betrayal of trust. According to police and Metro Schools, Jarrett Jones, a previous teacher at Napier Elementary and Antioch High School, recorded dozens of his students at Napier Elementary School while they were changing in the school's music room closet. That was my last thought, you know, that my child would be violated like this. I, I've always felt like she was safe in school. Parents in two separate meetings tonight had plenty of questions for school officials. Namely, why weren't parents notified right away and why were their children interviewed without their permission? School officials explained it was all protocol and that the investigation went as it should, but that wasn't enough for some parents. We don't expect that when we send our kids to school that they're going to be harmed in this kind of way. Our cameras weren't allowed in the meetings, but school officials, the assistant district attorney, and a member of the Children's Alliance, the group that conducted the interviews with the children, explained their reasoning for decisions in this investigation and offered all the resources available to parents. We'll have people here for the students, for the parents, for as long as they need it. So uh, I, I really hope the parents got something out of it. Um, but if they want something more, we can provide that as well. Now again, the school district says that they'll continue to support all of the uh, students as well as all of the teachers, whether it be through counselors at the school or any additional resources necessary. As for the investigation into Jones, it is still underway and there could be more charges filed. Live from Antioch High School, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.